Hi there! In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this cute little Easter bunny pot. Um, it's made using the amigurumi style so we're going to concentrate on double crochet stitches. I use UK terminology all the way through this video. It begins at the bottom here where we make a magic circle and we work on some treble stitches up here to add the ears. I'm going to take you through step by step so it should be achievable for beginner crocheters. When I've taught this in the past um, I often start off this circle so that uh, beginners crocheters are starting with just one double crochet all the way around and you'll see what I mean in just a second. So we start off with a magic circle. I'm using Stylecraft Special XL, which is a super chunky yarn and a seven millimeter crochet hook. And we are going to use the, pop the short tail in the palm of your hand and loop it around your fingers, just so that we've got this little cross on the top. So the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn is on the left hand side and I've created just a loop so the hook comes underneath the loop and I'm going to pull the yarn through to the front like that. At this stage, I like to just hold that loop with my forefinger and I slide it off my hand. So effectively what we've got is an open slip knot. Don't worry too much about this wrapped side here. We want that to be in place because that's going to help fasten off and secure the end. That will become a little bit clearer at the end when we tighten up the circle. So what I like to do is with the um, with the yarn, I wrap the yarn around the hook towards me and pull it through just to create one chain. And that helps secure the circle and hold it in place. I then pull on the short tail here and I'm going to just see how I can adjust the size of the circle. I have three fingers in there and I think that's about the right kind of size to work with. Any bigger and it can become really floppy and just twisted and get in your way. We're going to work six double crochets into the centre of this circle now. And as I said before, don't worry that we've got two strands here. We just hold them together as if they were one strand. And I'm going to go down into the circle, yarn over, pull it through to the front. We've got two loops on the hook. We yarn over and pull through both loops and that is a double crochet. As I said earlier, this is UK terminology. In the US, this would be a single crochet. So again, we go down into the circle, we yarn over, we pull it through to the front of the circle we yarn over again and we pull through two stitches. So we now have three double crochets and I'm going to continue on until we have six. So we've got four. Oh, I've split the yarn there. This chunky yarn is great for these kind of things. It's a little bit splitty um, and I'm also using a crochet hook um, that's a few sizes smaller than is recommended with it, but that's going to create a nice dense stitch and help the pot stand upright so you might um, split the yarn like that several times. So you never count the one that's on the hook, only the ones beneath it. So we've got one stitch here, two, three, four, five and six and now we are going to pull on this short tail to close up the circle. We've pulled it quite tight and if you're not sure where to go next I'm going to get you to count back just as we did earlier on. One, two, three, four, five, six and this is our sixth chain from the hook. And this is actually the beginning of round two now. Because we're working in spirals as opposed to rounds you can often lose track of where you are with amigurumi. So what I like to do is make my first double crochet and in this one we're going to make a second double crochet. So we're at the beginning of round two now and I've just made two DCs 
out of one stitch, but I'm going to use a stitch marker. And I'm going one, two back because that one is the beginning of my round. And that can be really useful during amigurumi because we are going to make two double crochets in every stitch around until we get back to the marker again. It can sometimes be difficult to see whether you've done one or two. So what I would recommend is looking down to the base of the stitch that you've just worked out of and it will be made a little bit bigger because we have crammed two stitches in there and you might be able to see that we've got one there and then a second one there so the next place we go you might want to flip this round so that you can see the v's of the stitches on the very outside but the idea is is that the crochet hook goes underneath both sides of the v so we make a double and then another double out of the same stitch again. So we go underneath both strands, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two. So we've just got the one stitch in here. We go ahead and we make one more. Two. And if you want to double check your stitch count, Remember, we don't count the one on the hook, just the one beneath it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this one with the marker is twelve. So that's us finished round two. I'm now going to take the marker out because it's going to get in my way. At the beginning of round three, I'm going to work two double crochets in this one. And I usually like to make the first two stitches and then place my marker. So we count one, two, back. And we know that that is the beginning of the round. But in this round, we're not making two stitches in every stitch. We're alternating between making two double crochets and one double crochet. So we do one in this one. Next one along is here. And we're going to do two. One. Two, and this one, one, two, and you just repeat that all the way around until we get back to the marker. I've just completed round three, so I'm going to take my marker out. And for round four, we do it slightly differently. We're not increasing stitches anymore. So when we did two double crochets out of one stitch, we're increasing the amount of stitches that we've got. And that's what's creating a nice flat circle for us. We're making the circumference round here bigger. But we want to stop at this stage and we want to bring in the edges of the pot now. So we're only going to be making one double crochet out of each of the stitches around. You might want to double check and do a stitch count and we should have 18. So this is our first one here and in order to kind of change direction and start working up the sides of the pot, I like to just work out of the back loop only. So this one being our front loop, this being our back loop and up until this stage we have popped our hook underneath both sides of the stitch. But now we're going to go just through that back loop only and that's going to help create the corner of the base of the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and make one double crochet, replace my marker again and jump on to the next one and we're going through just that back loop. So the stitch is the same. It's just that we're making one stitch. Oh, I've split the yarn there. I'll go back and fix that. I 
and just continue that until you get to the marker. I'm almost at the end of round four and you'll see it's already starting to curve up a little. And that's good, that's what we want. I've got one final stitch here. And then I'm ready to do round five. So rounds five to ten, we're just working one double crochet out of every stitch around, but we're going to revert back to just working out of um, underneath both sides of the V. So just a regular double crochet that we did before. That would be our second one and our third. It's only round five that we work just out of the back loop. And what that does, it'll become more obvious in um, a few rounds time, but we've created this kind of ridge along the edge and that's what's going to help the base of our pot sit nice and flat. So go ahead and take your marker out and we're going to go underneath both sides of the V for the beginning of round five and we're going to continue all the way around remembering to place your marker. Now it doesn't really matter if you do lose where the marker is don't worry about it because we're working in spirals, what you can do is kind of just continue working round and round and round until you get it to about the height that, that you'd like. So we're aiming for six rows in total and you can count them. You can see that bottom ridge there and we've got one little V stitch here. That's the first one. Two, three, four, five and six. It doesn't matter, as I say, just you want it to be probably about maybe six or seven centimetres tall. But you can continue and make a really tall pot if you wanted to as well. I'm just about to finish round 10 and you'll see I left my marker in at this stage rather than take it out and put it back in. And I wanted to show you that it's quite easy to find where you are, even if you don't replace your marker. So this one here was the very beginning of round five, down here. So this is the beginning of round six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm just about to finish. I've got two more to make. So you'll see that the beginning of round actually slants off in, on the diagonal. So two more, and that's us finished the pot. And it should, if you've done it um, tightly enough, um, but going down a couple of crochet hook sizes helps um, create that dense stitch. It is a bit of a workout for the hands, but it should be able to stand upright on its own. I'm now going to show you how to make the bunny ears like these. And what we're going to do, we're going to chain stitches to create that height, that length. We're going to make a half treble crochet and then trebles in every stitch down. I'll show you how to do that. So beginning of round 11, the ears, we chain eight. So we've just finished up here. We've done an, a regular double crochet to finish that round. And we're gonna just chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And then we're going to make a half treble in the third chain from the hook. So if we count down one, two, three, if we if I just hold it in place there, I'm going to yarn over first for a half treble. And again, like we did for that bottom ridge, we're going to work out just the back loops only um, for this ear. So we go down into the back loop, we yarn over pull it through the stitch and we've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. I'm going to then wrap my yarn around the hook again to do a treble stitch and that one has been made a bit bigger because we've got we've done a stitch in it already. We want to move over to the next stitch along. Yarn over, pull through, We've got three loops on the hook, but because we're now making trebles, we're doing, going to do five trebles. We yarn over and we pull through just two. 
two at a time. Yarn over again and through the second two. Yarn over into this next stitch along, which is here. So that one we've worked already. We jump over to this one. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through the second two. Yarn over again. And we repeat that in all of the chains. And then one more down here. So we should have one, two, three, four, five trebles and a half treble that's up here. I then usually hold the ear like this and I just kind of gauge whether I need to skip a stitch down here or if I join it here and it's completely up to you. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to just go into, we've worked this one already, I'm going to just attach the base of the ear with a double crochet down here and I'll see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks fine. And then, so we've made one double crochet. I'm then going to go ahead and do another one and then one more. So three in total. And that's what the pattern means by work one double crochet back into the next three stitches around the top edge of the pot. I'm then going to chain eight again for the second ear. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. Yarn over, count one, two, three chains back, and we're going in this back loop only to make a half treble crochet. So the half treble is a little bit shorter in height than the treble stitch, and it just helps form a nice rounded tip to the top of the ear. Yarn over jump onto the next chain along and we're going to do a treble. Yarn over. So the main difference um, between the double crochet and the treble crochet is that we yarn over first before we pop it into the hook. Most amigurumi style toys, for example, are done using just the double crochet stitch, but I thought that the treble was a nice way to teach more stitches but also it gave a nice effect to the ears. There we go. So we've got five trebles. We've got our half treble up here. And then I'm going to reattach this ear down here by making a double crochet. So we've worked a double crochet here. So we jump along. And I'm going to reattach here. And just so that the end when we come to weave in our ends at the end, just so that the end is kind of hidden at the back of the pot and not at the front of the face. I'm going to continue on to make six double crochets in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch just to finish it off. So because this is a little bit higher at this side than this one, a slip stitch can help disguise that. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through, but I'm also going to pull it through that loop as well. And that's enough just to kind of angle the height of that row. You could go ahead and make a few more slip stitches if you wanted to make it less obvious. There's another slip stitch there and then yarn over, cut this tail and then pull it all the way through and that's enough just to hold that in place. So I grabbed some scissors and I'm going to cut probably about maybe 10 centimetres from that final stitch and we can just pull that all the way through and give it a little pull and that's enough just to secure that place. I'm going to weave in the ends straighten out the ears. I can remove this stitch marker now too. 
So I'll do this top end first. And just with a needle. It's really chunky yarn. It can help to turn it inside out. And I'm going to just work my needle through a few different stitches and see how I'm kind of splitting the stitches as well. You don't have to um, do this neatly. That can actually help to, to secure ends in place. And I'm going to give it a good wiggle to pull through this thick yarn. Give me a bit of a workout. There we go. So I've pulled it a little bit too tight, so I'm going to just release off like this. And then I'm going to weave back in the opposite direction. Stopping probably about here. There we go. And you can trim nice and close to the edge. The bottom one, the magic circle, what we need to bear in mind is that we do we do have that extra wrap in there, which we crocheted over the top of, but I'm going to just pull it nice and tight to close the circle. But what we want to make sure is, see how the yarn is going in this direction? When we come to weave in the end, you could undo your magic circle by going through this direction. So I'm going to continue on. I'll show you. I mean by continuing on in this direction because that's the way that my yarn is going so that I make sure I'm not undoing all that work. Move those out of the way. Right, let's turn it to the right side. So this is the inside and what it should look like. And then this is the outside, like this. I then like to pop in some amigurumi eyes. Um, and there's some noses as well. Um, these are readily available online. Um, if you just look for safety eyes. Um, this one is a mixed set, so you get little noses as well. And what I would suggest is that you just pop it through one of the holes until you get the position that you would like it to be in. And then you grab one of the backs and you pop it on and squeeze until you hear that click and that's enough to secure it in place. And then pop in the eyes. Here's maybe too close. Yeah, let's go a little bit wider. There. And you would repeat the same, pop the safety backs on the back and then you've got a little crochet pot. <laughs> 